Good morning, everybody. Today is Friday, November 20th. Yes, it is. It's a Friday. And we got a lot of interesting stuff going on today. I even got to get my water uh, results. So I'm actually looking forward to that. I will uh, go down to uh, Lipa Water here soon just so I can uh, get my little piece of paper saying how my water is after my filterization system. But anyways, let's go take a look what's going on. All right, so we got going on. First thing this morning, I had to grab a camera for my own uh, viewing pleasure later on in 15, 20 years or five years. So however long it takes me to see, it has to get replaced. So this is the manhole over our septic tank. So this is gonna be a very interesting and challenging to get this out, if ever. I'm not sure if we don't have no overflow on it and these guys are concreting this bad boy in so if we ever have any issues and it starts overflowing, not sure what we're gonna do because they pretty well seamed it in when they did the tiles. Here's the front one. Not sure what happened there, but we have a cracked tile broken. Oh, well, I guess that's a, something they did because they did it on that one. Maybe it's going to be a lifting spot for them to pop these out, but they're definitely concreting this thing in. Oh, I see a plastic bag underneath it, so we're safe. It'll be able to come out. I can see a little bit of plastic bag. It's going to be tough to get out, but we'll be able to get it out. And then I'm going to lay some tiles over the top of it. And we are getting our last coat, it looks like, of gray paint around the house. And I sell over here uh, cleaning out her her filter for her vacuum cleaner. It keeps getting plugged up because someone's vacuuming the wrong stuff in it. She keeps vacuuming the sandings from all these guys and it's just plugging it up for a nice new vacuum cleaner. And we got touch-ups of painting going on. He did it the easy way, fast way, and it looks a whole lot better than just rolling it. He uh, spray painted all the fencing, which is great. He doesn't leave like the brush marks and stuff. He just sprayed it out. And we have over here some reinforcements going on on the gate, making sure everything works. I think he might have cut it off because it wasn't swinging right. Now we have Ferrari way over there on the wall, sanding it down. And definitely a best decision is skim coating the inside of the wall. It looks so much better than just throwing a, some primer on it and then some paint gotta put the skim coat on it make it beautiful I mean we sp spent all this crazy money in this wonderful house and just to have a silly inside wall is you know just a little bit more to skim coat your wall so it isn't rough it's nice and smooth and looks gorgeous it'll hold up against the rain no problem we have the leveling of the ground see I sell and I already talked about this they're just gonna level it out and make it flat I think we're going to put some more dirt in it and uh, raise it up because we actually thought it was going to be a bit higher than what these guys have for a marking. At this point, they're just going to move the dirt around and fill it in and level it out, which is great. And I uh, will probably have someone come in behind us and uh, do some other stuff to the yard. You can look. We got some crazy wiring going on. We got to go up and then it goes down. I don't think things are in the right spot. If they're level, that's crazy. Uh, I know this this side is really, really deep, but uh, when it comes up, it's gonna be like this. I mean, it's gonna be a six foot wall. We got Buddy over here spray painting our last fence piece. I can't wait for that going. You see this piece right here on the end? It's a funky shape, but no one will ever see that. Well. We will see it on the inside, but on the outside you won't see that. That's just the, the guide barrier on the back side for the rollers. Alright, so that piece on the fence I was just showing you is going to be like right here on the back side of this piece. So I'm going to have some a piece up here 
a roller. So um, that actual piece will, is pretty much the same as this column right here for the fence. That's going to be one piece that holds it in. And of course, it will roll right on down here. We'll have another set of rollers right there. I'm not sure what else. Uh, Christian told us pretty much the breakdown of uh, how this fence is going to roll. All right, everybody. It is early afternoon. It's hot outside. And I just wanted to film a little bit of what's going on, but show you our wonderful wall. They cleaned it up I think yesterday they took all the dust and stuff off of it. It looks wonderful. And we have over here on the stairs right now. Oh, and Moon is loose. Now we open the doors up so the cats can familiarize the house since there's no one, well, there's one person working inside. Other than that, that is it. And he's uh, taking all the coverings off of everything right now and t going back and touching up things. But there is our wonderful stairs. It's really, really dark, but it works for us. It is a very hot afternoon, early afternoon. These guys are all complaining that it is absolutely hot. And yes, it is. Uh, we have Ferrari over here painting. Actually, I think he's primering our inner walls. These guys are leveling out. I don't know if you guys can see it. There is line everywhere right now in our yard. And they're trying to get everything leveled down. So they got a whole lot of dirt to move. And we'll see. There, actually, Christian was talking about using that dirt over here and filling it in and thinking it might be enough to cover everything. Not 100% sure, but maybe if we get lucky, it will be, but I think we're, we're still going to come back with some top dirt over the top of this so we can do grass. There is a lot of rock, other random stuff in here. Um, and really keeping on them about the cement. Cause there's lots of cement chunks, but the bigger chunks they have been pulling. But we got littler ones in there with everything else. I remember when they dug up this ground, there was no rocks whatsoever. And the fun begins. They are chipping out our column right here. So they can put the Mahone in. <laughs> so the Mahone's going back in. They put actually a Mahone. They label the street to them exactly where, where they are at. Because the Mahones... With this property, we actually had a little bit of a hard time finding the Mahomes. We could always find the PS. But anyways, that's what's going on. He's building building up this drain. We got a massive drain because it's a street drain on top of our house. Water drains for the ceilings and like the showers and stuff. And yes, I said showers, sinks, all go in this one drain. Only number twos go in the septic tank. And the, what they're going on right now, they are filling in the holes for lights. Uh, you can see them, I think you can. A little patchwork. So we ain't doing any lights on the outside over here. We have plenty of lights around here. We don't really need the ones. And talking about the big square windows. Well, all of our windows. I gotta say, the mirrored windows, I'd never get them again. I like them, but they're horrible when it comes to maintenance. Anything gets on it, someone wipes something on it, you try to clean it, it just scratches the mirror on it. It looks fine on the outside, but when you go inside, all you see is scratches. I definitely would uh, avoid doing mirror windows. All right, and I want to show you guys how the weather is. A little, a little cloudy, a little breezy. It's actually got a nice breeze, but man, that sun all day has been just bearing down on it on us it is hot the guys are not happy doing stuff outside and they're all doing stuff outside you just see them hiding in the shade trying to cool down to keep working and these guys that are doing dirt moving it around you just see them along the wall hiding but we're almost there less than a month i would say i would hope maybe a few weeks i know we probably got a good weeks worth of electrical that needs to be done and there's a lot of little tedious things that need to be done left on the house touch-ups here and there some some stuff only has two coatings on it 
they're actually working on that stuff right now is the two coatings on the house in certain areas and there's some other areas that need to be painted but um, we're finding out our wonderful appliances are uh, giving us a little zap here and there because they don't have grounds here so another thing you might want to talk to your electrician about putting grounds in I don't know I'm just sort of talking about stuff my our stove shocks me if I'm touching something else and I'm touching the stove at the same time, it shocks me. If I'm wearing barefoot and I touch the stove, it shocks me. It's not bad, but it's annoying. It sort of, you know, startles you if you're not thinking about it. I guess it's what it is. You want to pay the extra money and get a, a grounded system. Alright, it is almost cleanup time. And this is what they've gotten so far, two guys moving this dirt. And now they're going back over it with, I think, the smoke gray. Our house is pretty much going to be gray looking. Interesting. Oh, and this is what the outcome of the drain is going to be. Look at all this. Look at that hole, it's huge. So since uh, the subdivision didn't do this, we are now subject to do it. If not, we're going to have water flowing everywhere. So they didn't put the pipe in going into the, the wonderful drain that we have. We put our hole in and we also have our drainage for the house going into this too. As long as no one showers, we'll be good for a bit until this concrete sets up but we have our Mahone put in we got our half of Mahone cemented into our little section <laughs> and we're doing the neighbor a favor by putting in this drainage part so everybody actually all both neighbors on both sides of our house and on the back side are getting a little advantage from us uh, doing our walls and and stuff our walls are nice well we'll see if they get used or not we don't know we really want one lot so we'll see my husband is here helping the guys out breaking all the cement pieces right there from the past and the guys on the side are busy on painting we got two painters today he is done working with our sliding gate outside Side. and there's one label right there doing the sanding with our front fencing so we're almost done on leveling the ground we just have that left plus we have two truck load up there all right everybody I know I saw I was uh, taking a little bit of a film while I was uh, busy with these guys it's starting to get too hot to be out here so Went and got them a bunch of yellow and got them back to work because it was getting hot. Got some nice cold filtered water. Alright, we got some painting going on out here. We got cement going. So, here is the top right here for our drain that they made. That bugger is big so it's going to be fun to lift. And they're talking about skim coating there our pole next right now that'll be next they're painting they're getting all the coats on right now and fixing some stuff here and there guess they're gonna get all this done up all right and our second coat is going on our fence ah oh, it's third coat everything's very gray all right everybody it is late afternoon these guys are pretty much done we're actually losing some people today they're going back to Christian's place and working on his little Kubo slash Christmas project he's trying to get, have it done before Christmas I pulled some of our guys we're getting down to nitty-gritty but we still got a lot of little things left and I say little lots of little this and a little that but they almost got all this done we still have I actually just raked up all this concrete. Uh, we're getting there. I know they're going to use all that dirt behind our rolling gate. Yes, look at our rolling gate. It's not up yet. They just placed it in so uh, we can run a uh, ranger around. We'll see. Unfortunately, we have all this stuff out here. So I don't know if we're going to let ranger loose or not. I would suspect he's going to get into everything. Including their cooking supplies that are still here. Alright, and... 
all this got done. I see they got the pole cleaned up. They skim coated it. It needs to be painted a few times and then set up. It needs to be sealed too. And we're still waiting on our official power line and coming in. We just got it jumped right now. And we have that done up. I don't know how we're ever going to get that thing off. It is a massive chunk of cement. It's going to be fun pulling that out. And we're still waiting on Onad the plumber. Come and fix our uh, leak right here. There's a connection that is leaking. And let's see, they primered and painted. It looks like, yeah, I think they painted it. I know they primered it. Our little flower boxes, both of them down there and here. All right, everybody, that's about it for our wonderful video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. And hit that bell button down there in that corner to get notified on our next videos. Thank you and goodbye.